so much conversations have surrounded the movement of fixing the Lagos Badagri Expressway. And today in the studio, we're joined by representatives who constantly push and agitate for this cause. We have with us on my immediate right, Ambassador Mark Akande. He's a convener of the Fix Lagos Badagri Express Road Mass Movement. And he's the president for the Society for Human Advancement and Creativity Organization. Thank you Thank for you, joining sir. us, sir. Thank you very much. And on my extreme right, I have Comrade Sewanu Michael. He's the secretary of the Fix Lagos Badagri Express Road Mass Movement. Thank you very much for joining yeah, us. Thank you. Thank so, um, Ambassador... Mark, let's talk about how this movement started, the Fixed Lagos Badagri Expressway movement. See, if, you know, looking at the Badagri, um, Lagos Badagri rule, over the years, um, it has become um, an issue that um, the people living around this area uh, uh, have actually, one way or the other, been writing to government so that they can um, come to their aid and fix it up. But we discovered that the, the people that are in government who are supposed to be the protectors of, uh, of the uh, citizens have actually deviated from the, their rights, uh, um, um, the right thing that they ought to do. So we decided to say, fine, if our representative cannot actually push for this, the people who are the original owners of power, because it is the people that rule government. So we decided to say, okay, we'll force the government to do the needful. See, our women are dying, our women are having miscarriage, business no longer functions in that area. You go to trade fair, you discover that, was that there, there's a pothole there, center of the road that can sw swallow a whole vehicle. Was that? Children get to school by 11.30, you prepare your child for, for school by 7 a.m. in the morning, you discover that by 11 a.m., the child is not in school. So these are part of the problem that the people within the houses are actually fixing. And we say, okay, fine. Government, please do it for us. Government, come and do this thing. Government, they are not doing. So the best thing is for us to shout because a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Indeed. Now, we were talking about the history of this Lagos Badagri movement, you know, and the road and why it's not been fixed before we came on air. So, um, Mr. Sharon, I'd like you to please take us through that again. Um, actually, uh, historically, from the historical background of that express road, uh, the road was actually commissioned down to a place called Seme, very close to Kotonu, near the Karifu. And uh, Julius Beja was actually the contractor, and they did the road to that extent, leaving behind the new ECOWAS that was uh, later launched or inaugurated, uh, kind of, uh, by the president, sometimes last year. And so uh, that was 1976. So official commissioning was done then. And Julius Beja made the federal government of Nigeria to understand that this road will have a longevity of 20 years. And after that, it is open for rehabilitation and maintenance. And the other side of the ECOWAS uh, countries, Benin Republic, Togo, and Ghana, they have done this maintenance for over three good times. I have traveled that axis several times, and I see them doing it according to ECOWAS stipulated regulations. And since then, Nigeria has never for once done a palliative on that road since 1996 till date, as we speak. And so we see, but that agree historically happens to be the womb that got Nigeria, you know, uh, given birth to. So I call, the I call Badagri the placenta of Nigeria, the mother of Nigeria. And that place today has been neglected by the federal government of Nigeria. Okay. Now, you've started this movement. I don't know how long this movement has been. Has it been a long... No, you, you know, um, there is... Let me put it this way. There's all, this proverb that says that there's an extent that you push a goat to the wall and the goat will be forced to do what? To, to bite. You know, naturally, goats don't bite. The truth is that the people that reside in the Badagri division are people, are peace-loving people, are people that don't agitate, are people that understand that they are friendly because their environment is mainly tourism, 
uh, in, in nature because there you have um, first, um, the first story building the slave market and so on that can actually attract people. These are peace loving people, but it have gotten to a point that within, you know, if re the reaction this came uh, uh, just not up to uh, three months, yeah. understand? Okay. The group we, we decided to uh, come together and say no, it's enough is enough. Are you both from Badagri? Yeah, both of us stay in Badagri. Great. I, I totally agree with you. Badagri yeah. are peace, you know, but people living in Badagri are peace loving people. Yeah. I visited in January, but it's appalling the state of the roads. Everybody kept saying, don't go by road, don't go by road. So I had to go by water because okay. they all kept saying that yeah. the road is bad. Okay. Yeah. So what can be done? How soon do you have like an yeah. idea, yeah. a map planned out on how we can fix this as soon as possible? Yeah. We, we have we have possible solutions for the government if there are no technocrats in that government. We are ready to give them voluntary service, to give them technocratic ideology. I, I used to say it, miracle belongs to God, and then magic belongs to humans. We can invent the magic of putting that road into a motorable situation. Pending the time the new contract that has been awarded to CGC or whatever would be done. We don't care when they finish that. But there is an existing lane that has been disconnecting the people from the source of this way that cannot make them to trade the other way. Are there some of these um, ideas that you'd like to share? Yeah, the idea is one, let them bring on board all these major contractors back to that road. Give them a stipulated period of two weeks each, giving them the number of kilometers spreading from um, trade fair on that bridge down to Seme, which is 46 kilometers, according to the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. Yeah. So that 46 kilometers, give it to these four or five contractors, give them two weeks, and tell them to fix up the kilometers you give to them. A miracle will happen overnight, and that road will be fixed. You, you see, we have a government that says we have approved a contract. We have a government that says we have released money. But what we are seeing on ground is, is the reality we are seeing on ground is that there's nothing of such. So on that, we are giving the government ultimatum. And that ultimatum, I tell people, I say it over and over again, my name is Ambassador Mark Akonde. We, we are giving our governor, uh, His Excellency, Governor Sonwo Olu, we are giving our president, President Momo Buari. 100 days. We are telling them that the 92 police checkpoints from Maitu to Seme, they should remove it within these 100 days. We are telling them that between now and the expiration of 100 days, if they don't make the road motorable, then we are going to declare all government activities along that as is illegal. Okay, so um, I'm sure, I'm hoping that you know we can all reach an am amicable resolution of the situation. And none of us is happy about the current state of things on the Lagos Badagri Expressway. Yeah. And we're hoping that there would, the government would actually lend an ear to this cry because it's something that they should do. We should not be having in 2019 promises of I will fix your roads, okay. or, I will build your schools. Yes, these are yes. not the conversations we should be having. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. these are still the conversations we're having. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank How you. can people follow you on social media? You know, those who want to keep up to date yeah, with okay. your activities. Do you yeah. have a social media account, your organization? We have um, a WhatsApp group running. Sorry? We have a WhatsApp group running, oh. the, and we have a link to that. Okay, okay. But, like, how are you on Facebook or...? We are on Insta We don't have an Instagram account for that group in okay, particular. Okay, great. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, if, but, what but, about but, you individually? But you, you can um, link up with Ambassador Mark um, on Facebook. Okay. You can link up with Shaco NGO on Facebook, and... Um, I'm sure that they can get more information about yeah, this. Yeah, you can get yeah. more information about uh, this and uh, that. Right. On the, on the thank you so much for All joining right. us. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate much. it when we constantly yeah. see people who are learning their voices to ensuring that we see a change in our country. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.